I first started using Google Apps Script probably four years ago, four-ish years ago, maybe a bit more. And right when I got started, I really wanted to save um, different variables that someone might enter through a prompt or through um, a sidebar into my project. I wanted to retain those variables and or properties as Apps Script call them. I looked into it, I did, and I attempted to do it. I never, at least at first, I wasn't successful. I actually just kind of gave up on it, moved on, did some other stuff with it. Um, however, thankfully, I went back, and at this point, I, I have mastered them. And so I kind of want to walk through how they work, how I use them, how you can use them, and how I figured them out, and, and their versatility. They aren't always intuitive, like I've said, um, but they make this weird sense that hopefully I can uh, pass on some knowledge about them to you. As a middle school computer science teacher, I really aim for this to be approachable. If you're a pro at coding, this is gonna make sense. In fact, you'll probably make more sense of it than I did. Um, and if you're more new or an amateur, uh, I'm gonna walk through the steps and I think everyone will get something out of it. So to get started, I'm gonna go way up here to tools and go ahead and click on script editor and untitled project. Oh, what a sin. But first I'm actually gonna put in some, I'm gonna get rid of their standard stuff. This you probably don't need to do because I'm putting my name on it, Kurt Kaiser. Hi, that's me. Um, I'm gonna plug my website, I guess, kurtkaiser.us. Yeah, .com was already purchased by someone slightly bitter. Um, uh, and feel free, this code is gonna be posted below, so feel free to use it and tweak it um, and learn from it. Now, uh, to start us off, right off the bat, I wanna show how to save something. So if that's what you're here for, all you wanna know is how to save a variable, save a property, this, is gonna be how you can do that. On alert, open. So this is gonna be an alert that's on open. I guess I'll just do an on open. We'll have to change that later on, but that's fine. On open, Oop, I'm gonna close this right away. So this is a function. A function is the part of code that does something, right? So I can call my function. Now I need to name this. Uh -huh. How to save, huh? How to save stuff, how to retain data. All right, how to save. Um, on open, and I can run this right here. And when I run it, all the code inside does things, hopefully if I do it right. So uh, function on open, I'm gonna go ahead and do var, which I'm creating a variable, ui and spreadsheet app.getui. So what I'm doing here is VAR is a variable, UI stands for user interface, and that's something I just created. Because we're gonna need to say spreadsheet app get UI, I don't need a zero, uh, spreadsheet app get UI several times. So instead, I just made UI equal that, and now I can just write that. All right, now what I'm gonna do is do a new variable, and let's say script, value okay and then we're gonna say that's set that equal to ui and prompt yep and we get to kind of pick here so i'm gonna do what is your favorite color boop, boop. and that looks fine and then i'm gonna do ui dot button set and then all I need after this is okay so what is your favorite color okay that's what we'll click after we use it now what's going to happen is script value is going to equal this response so maybe I should actually just to be for clarity's sake say this is response response okay so once we have that response, this is what I'm gonna save into our project. Save as a property. I wanna get rid of that line. All right, and so to do that, what you, we need to do is go ahead and enter script properties 
Oh, I'm already forgetting something, but that's okay. I'm going to go add it. Script properties dot set property property. And then the name of our property, mine's going to be man, color. And then the um, value of it. And the value is going to be response dot get. And we want to get the text response. Okay. And then I'm going to close this up. Yep. And semicolon. And I was saying that I had forgotten something because, well, I forgot something. What I need is to do variable script properties. This is actually going to be a variable too. And then we're going to do properties. Oh. We're going to do properties service dot get script properties. Okay. And so now this is a shorthand for referring to property service get script properties. And then response right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to have this do is just for clarity's sake, I'm going to have it alert out or you kind of have a pop up right away. What are. Okay, so let's say favorite color. Huh? And then we are going to do script properties dot get property. And now we need the key. The key is this first value here. That's the key. The key is the very first one. So that's how you're going to reference it later on. So color was my key. Um, and actually, it's standard for those to be lowercase. Uh, they don't have to be, but I'm going to kind of go with convention. And do I need another? Yes, yes. All right. So first up is debugging. So well, actually, first up is saving. Save. Okay. And then this will probably prompt us for permission, I think. Oh. It was running. All right, there we are. Favorite color, red. Okay. And there you are, the alert, red. So we have now already, we've successfully saved something. And to prove this to you, if I close out of this, if I totally close out of this, it's still gonna be there, right? So here, let's go ahead and go. Oh, I can't prove this yet. I need an alert. One sec. On open. Now I can. I'm throwing together a quick alert function to show you what I mean. So let's test. I am going to close this. I am now, I'm going to. Going to name that. All right. And then I'm going to copy this. And totally shut out of it. And now click. Click paste. Hit enter. And let's test if the property is still there. And on uh, my alert, debugging my alert. Oh, script properties was not defined. Ugh. I'm going to cut those. Put them up here. My alert. That might be up now. Favorite color red. So it did save. It is still there. And that's the power of this. So that's the super fast intro, obviously, um, to kind of show you how to do it. 
I am now going to build this out some and show you really kind of flex some of the uh, muscles of Google Apps Scripts and their property service um, to see, to show what you can do with it. 